going on YouTube so what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be testing out the Yumi Raptor scooter and if it can take a 275 pound uh, person <laughs> up a 20 and 30 degree um, uh, hill for a hill climb uh, so let's go ahead and get it out of the way real quick um, I am uh, affiliated with Yami Yumi whatever you want to call them uh, I think it's Yumi because you right um, and uh, it does help my channel and also helps other channels out there that do have promo codes but hopefully I'll win your support because um, I got a couple ideas that I think you're gonna like so if you're pretty much at this point you're wondering um, you know about the weight thing uh, will this hold it up for the good price that they do because I mean they're the only company I know that actually gives not only two chargers but all those accessories like the phone holder uh, even right now if you buy it now I think they still got it on sale uh, I don't know by the time you're watching this video if they'll still have it but they also include the um, the, the, the stem um, damper as well uh, I don't know how long that sale is going to go on for but it's there until it's not <laughs> Um, and uh, a couple things I want to try out in uh, hopefully the next few weeks. I did buy a uh, Kabo slash uh, Mantis um, uh, controller for the light switch and uh, horn here. Uh, I don't really honestly like this version as much as I kind of like the other one because it's more of a smaller form factor. Plus I can angle it up more. This one just feels a little more awkward. I like the actual have the buttons left and right. So if you um are familiar with that brand and you've seen it before if you've seen um esg uh show off those scooters you'll definitely recognize it right off the bat like it's definitely much better plus it actually has indicators whether it's on or off unfortunately it doesn't show it here and no this is not a review the um uh, other thing i want to kind of show uh or uh, go over as well you got a type c down here for charging your phone um question is uh there are some car plays for motorcycles out there um that you can mount uh, on the handlebars and some of them not all of them but some of them are um, powered with a USB and will that USB plug into a uh, female slash type C to go in here to power that on a pinch I'm personally going to be uh, using a power bank that I'm going to stick right here in the bag that's included and I've been using this bag quite a bit I got my little electric air pump in there and some slime so in case I get a flat or something like that I'm not uh, stuck wherever I'm at Hopefully <laughs> the other thing that I think you guys might actually be interested in which probably would make a little more sense rather than having CarPlay because you can probably just use your phone right with the included mount um, is a uh, like a six maybe a seven inch screen that you can kind of post up here and then have a review uh, camera rear camera uh, pointing out the back so that way you don't always have to turn around to see uh, who's behind you how close they are especially if you're going on PEV rides uh, that's probably like you know a good concept to do and again they got them that can be powered by uh, a power bank instead of being powered by the scooter taking up your you know your battery life but for the proof of uh, being 270 this might take a second because this, this uh, scale kind of Sucks. Did you get that? I don't know if you can see that. 274.8. And that's without my gear. Uh, the scooter is rated for holding up 330 pounds on payload. Um, I'm assuming a lot more because I've had scooters in the past that quoted a certain amount and definitely way, went way over. Uh, for example, 265 E-Move Touring, 265 the Inno Kim as well, and also Sondra's electric bike is all around the same weight. I obviously weigh a little bit more than that, plus the gear is probably like another 10-ish, maybe 10-ish pounds. Um, it's not a whole lot of gear, it's just, you know, uh, cold water, uh, ice pack stuff like that um, and then uh, a little bit of extra but the other gear I'm talking about is also what you keep inside that little bag too but we're gonna go ahead and pop out here to the street here in a minute on uh, the next transition and then you'll be able to see me go up the hill and then we're gonna do a little ride to the other hill that I'm talking about so that way you can see does this scooter can it does it or will it get me up the hill that is the question all right so we're going to be testing out the hill that I told you about and uh, hopefully the auto is going to be pretty good uh, from what I heard the other day it's not too bad got some dogs barking got a little bit of wind hopefully it's not too bad so 
So, just enjoy the ride, right? Oh, hello, puppy. All right. So, I don't know if you can tell from uh, from that angle on how steep this hill is. I mean, it does really resemble a lot of a, either a 15 or a 20 uh, degree hill climb. So, uh, hopefully, it will take you up to where we're in uh, gear one. I don't know if you can see that. And we're also in uh, single motor. All right. And from a complete stop is what we're doing. So, again, hopefully you can see that. But yeah, it's just climbing. That's all it's doing with one gear in gear one. All the Halloween decorations are around. Now we're a little more on a flat surface here. So we'll see how well this works. Again, I don't know how well you can hear me, but that was the hill climb. Hey, more skeleton. How you doing? How are you doing, skeleton? Yeah, I think this neighborhood is like a pond of nothing but skeletons everywhere. Like, oh my dear. Alright, so we're going to try to travel to the other one. Again, if you can hear me, I don't know. I don't have a, a separate microphone to do all this with. Where you can hear me a lot better because all the audio is coming straight from the camera. And eventually, I will get uh, the DJI uh, microphone, mic 2. Because that's what I want um, to work with uh, this DJI Osmo 4. Dual motor. And that was against the wind too. I almost thought I was going to fall off at some point. But dual motor, uh, uh, gear two, uh, 34 miles an hour, 275 pounds. So far, so good. I see all these basketball hoops, but I don't ever see anybody play. And I will gotta say, you definitely make sure you uh, take caution on doing turns with dual motor on, because that front motor will spin out on you. It's just the juice that does it.
So we're getting closer and closer to the uh, the other hill climb. I gotta go the other way because there's a lot of people coming in that direction. But didn't see no motor. because it's a very narrow no problem. I can always cross over on the street <laughs> slowly la 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 unfortunately I get this way to this neighborhood because of uh, this area it's like mm. really wish I didn't have to get over here just by the stupid trail but oh yeah, getting closer. All right, so uh, as we're going to be pushing forward, keep an eye out straight ahead. Uh, if you guys can still see that or not, but there is a major steep hill. And I'm going to try to stop at the base of it. where that hill starts as where that big uh, truck, moving truck, Penske's, I can't tell. I mean, it does go up a little bit right here, but it doesn't go up as much as it does right after that truck. Oh, it was Penske's. I'm gonna go a little bit more ahead over here. There we go. All right, so this is, uh, this has gotta be a 30. 20 for sure, 100%, but look, it really feels like a 30. 30 degree hill climb, 270 pounds. Let's try it in gear, with gear one and single motor i'm sure i can still get up there but we're gonna try it hopefully you guys can see the speedometer at the same time all right here we go not struggling okay dual, dual motor all right so dual motor works oh and climbing so single motor won't do this but dual motor will Interesting. All right. 
So yeah, single motor was struggling like crazy, but dual motor instantly picked it up. All right, well, there you go. Now, if you're interested in getting this scooter, uh, definitely please keep in mind using my promo code. Uh, you can also click on the link that if I make one, I'll actually put it there in the description. But uh, promo code can go anywhere. So even if you don't go on the webpage right away, if you use my promo code, at least you'll get a discount. Uh, I don't know how much they're offering. I think it was $30 or something like that. Oh, for more? I can't remember. Uh, it's probably going to be different each time, I'm assuming. But, um, but yeah. If uh, you want this scooter and it's, 15, it's pretty much $1,500 before tax, I mean, you really can't go wrong. It's a really great scooter. And plus, you can do a lot of DIY stuff with it as well. Uh, I mean, things on here, let's say if your handlebars break, easy swap, because uh, they use actual bicycle handlebars. And the same goes for the base. The only thing that's not is going to be the, where the stem is for the Yami part. But yeah, like, like this part here is uh, exchangeable, if you can see that in frame. That's actually a bicycle uh, uh, hinge? Handlebar holder? I don't know. Question mark? Okay. Well, enjoy the rest of the ride. That's like the one thing I really like about the scooter. You can do a lot of things in single motor, except for go up 30 degree hills, um, obviously. It is only it only does only have one controller. I don't think it's a big deal since they actually designed it like a they like literally put like probably like two controllers into one. I want to say that that's how they customize the the sine wave. I think it's a sine wave. Oh yeah, yeah, sine wave. It does it on the website. Okay, but. Man, I, I've been enjoying this scooter for a good time. Uh, I've had a, I did have a bad first week with it because uh, was it day two? I went on a quick uh, ride and got a flat out of nowhere. <laughs> Hello. It was not my favorite cup of tea. Hello. Oh, hi. Got the whole family out. Hi. Yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that might have been a coyote.
Well, I'm gonna go see how my trail is doing. They were doing some construction over there last I saw. And you're coming for the ride. And, that's gonna, and then, we're, then we're gonna circle back back to my place. It's gonna be a small range test, nothing perfect or uh, heavy, because I'm I'm pretty sure I can get about 40 miles on this thing, and then an additional three or four before it actually goes completely dead. I like to cut myself off way before the actual time, because uh, when I actually reached uh, specifically uh, half on this thing, I, I came across about uh, 24, I think it was, point something. I can't remember the exact po pointages. So that right there telling me I could get about 50 on uh, sometimes dual motor second gear. And that's all I've been riding. I haven't actually, I, did, I haven't gone crazy into a third gear. But yeah, when I want to get, when I want to get somewhere, I make sure I stick into a uh, single motor and sometimes either one or two, mostly one, because 20 miles an hour is more than enough I need to get around the city. Or if you want to call this a city. So. But either way, it gets me point A to point B, especially uh, back and forth to work. It's not a complete car replacement, but it does do a great job on replacing cars. Dual motor, second gear. I was almost 40, uh, and I wasn't even pushing down on the throttle all the way. Like I said, I'm not, not here to do a speed test, because that's like the last damn thing I want, especially when I don't have elbows or knee pads. All I got is a regular bike helmet. It's going to take things very slowly. of power to get where I wanted to go because I'm only about close to six miles on this thing on a ride in and then I think I did about two miles uh, working back before I did this video so yeah not too shabby And this time I uh, brought slime and I brought uh, uh, cement paste for rubber and of course the patches, <laughs> just in case I need it. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to hear myself talk throughout a lot of this part of the video since there's like noise cancellation on automatically.
Uh, so one thing I don't recommend is uh, doing dual motor and uh, while holding the throttle. Like there's nothing wrong with doing it in mid, you know, while you're moving. Just don't do the throttle at the same time. It's got to have time to switch and you don't want to lock up uh, the wheels if they do lock up at all, which I don't think they will. I think it's like a bunch of myth, but <coughs> excuse me, just in case anything is true about it. I've always learned to let go the throttle, change the mode, change the dual motor, and then reapply the throttle again. There's no, there's no point in doing it while you're on it. And uh, I'm not going to do it on this scooter because I did not buy it from Best Buy. Uh, on my Indochem, I had uh, something called Total Tech, so it was protected. So for you, if I screwed it up, I can just swap it out for another one. Easy peasy, right? And. Uh, This is about a 10 degree hill climb. Yeah, that's about a 10 degree hill climb. No problem getting me up to 34, 35. Took a wrong turn. Oh well, this will get me where I want. Oh, and these squeaky brakes, I swear. I cleaned them several times. And I know they're not grinding because I made sure I took care of that part too.
So it says more than half battery. Okay.
Almost there at the trail. In case you're wondering, I don't slam on my throttle, so that's why I'm not doing like acceleration and stuff like that. and they're still working on it. Damn. All right, yeah, that's where my little, my trail's at. They made a little pass going if I, but if you guys remember, I mentioned how I got a flat literally the day two, is because that little area they cut out has a bunch of fucking uh, industrial nails and one of them got stabbed in my tire all the way through and the only reason why I didn't run out of air uh, was because these tires are really good <laughs> they just held it hello pretty good
I always have trouble getting over this one. One, I don't weigh enough to, to get the turn signal turn. Let's see if I can get through this. about to be our turn. It could be.
Buddha. I still got half a battery left. And I'm probably going to be hitting 13 if not 14 miles by the end of our little trip. Yeah, it's going on like half, uh, like half bar. Um, I want to say for since the fifth mile. I want to say. Yeah, I mean, it, it's been a, it's been a hot minute, and it just hasn't gone down at all. It's been fluctuating between that third and fourth bar. Yes. Come on, caravan. about that sense you get when you actually do uh, <laughs> when you actually do pass cars like nah it's just a scooter you can't pass me solid Alright, well that's going to conclude it for today's video. Again, if you please support me by subscribing and or just hitting the like button. That actually helps out too. 
And if you think about getting the scooter and you reach the, all the way to the end of this video, uh, you got the promo code that's going to be right down there at the bottom of the description, and that does help my channel out too. If you also want to know if someone that's 270 pounds can ride the vehicle you do, it will help me buy more in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.